Hi guys, uh, in this video I will teach you how to install window terminator or window terminal and uh, how to run uh, multiple operating systems, multiple, multiple programs and multiple uh, uh, version controls software in one windows, in one, uh, in one, uh, yes, GUI. So uh, this uh, window terminator is uh, or Windows terminal. It is an open source uh, run uh, sponsored by uh, my, uh, the, the developer. They are sponsored uh, by Microsoft, but it is open source. And the good news about uh, Microsoft, uh, they start uh, to move uh, toward uh, the open source community and they support the open source and the free software, some, some uh, free software uh, developer. So let's uh, do the job. First, you go to the store. Under the search bar, you type uh, ter Windows Terminal. You open it. Then you get it. No thanks. And it installs the uh, start. Let's go to the our download. Let's check for the update. And here we are installed here. Okay. So now we type uh, terminal. Open file location. So this is no, not this. Let's go here. Okay, launch. Okay, so this is the terminal. So look, uh, the window terminal is like uh, this. It is uh, used uh, the PowerShell and you can modify the shell. So you have here the pages. So if you press Control Shift T, Control Shift T, you open the new pages. If you press Control Shift W, you close all pages. Okay. And uh, here, if you press it like that, you see all the operating system that we installed. So you can run Debian. This is Debian. You can run Kali. And uh, you can run Ubuntu, Azure, and all in the same pages. Okay. Uh, you can run Python. So now we are in Python. Six uh, mod uh, one thousand. Okay. Look, you are uh, uh, so. This is Python. You see, I can code in Python here. Now I I stop coding from Python. I go. I want to go to Debian. So this is the Debian. So I write I stop to see my operating system category. I go to Kali and I make some system security, for example, or pitch. I go here and here I am in uh, Ubuntu. So I exit Ubuntu and Ubuntu is exit. So I press uh, Shift uh, W. I close Ubuntu. Now I'm in Kali. This. Sorry, this, this is Kali. I can open new windows and I want to, go to for example, to check my, my version control. I write git and now I am in git. Bash. Yes, I am in uh, uh, git version. 
Get version. No, I am in bash. So how I run git? One minute. Git. Okay. After that, we check this. So you see, and uh, then uh, we can uh, go to the setting of this uh, uh, of this uh, terminal. And here the code, it is open. And here the documentation. So you go to the website and you can change the themes. You can change uh, the themes. For example, this is the profile. It is from Window PowerShell. This is the profile, the default profile. It's uh, from the Window PowerShell. So, for example, I want to change it to CMD profile. So I copy this, this code, sorry. The GUI, the GUI code, Control C. I go, I go to the default, and this is the default. No, not this is the default. Where is the default? Yes, it's the default. So I go here. I highlight the old. I press Control V and the S. So I save. I save it. Now I close it. I close this uh, terminal. I launch it. So now uh, it's come with the the user interface. is like uh, the 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 traditional Microsoft uh, terminal, and we can open it, we can close it. So let's uh, look about uh, look for another user interface. So this is the default user interface here. Let's check uh, other user interface. So this is the PowerShell user interface. This is the command prompt, uh, prompt and this is the Debian. So let's uh, take the Debian, Windows uh, Terminal, Windows Terminal, uh, Azure, Ubuntu. For example, let's, uh, let's take uh, the Debian. Let's take the Debian. So yes, this, this interface, let's look how it's looked. How it look like? It is nice or better. And by the way, you can go to the website and you can uh, modify all the interface that you like. But let's check Debian because it's the first time I use it. Let's close it and let's launch it again. And this uh, we put it here in our task, so it will be. Uh, we will make it. Uh, when, when, when we put it here, you can make it a shortcut. So you press window plus two, it will open this uh, terminal. So look, this is the Debian user interface. Close it. Now window, press window key plus two, and now it will be open. And this is the Debian user interface. Open a new. But uh, this is Debian. Uh, no, no. Uh, we don't like the, that because now it's open in Debian. So we close it, modify it, and we go back to make it uh, uh, the traditional Windows interface. But you can go to the website and you can install other uh, win uh, window interface. Make the change PowerShell. Change CMD. So we make it to the CMD. Okay, so we make the change as a CMD. And after that, 
I will install other user interface and uh, I will update you. Control C, copy. We go to the default. Control V, Control S to save it. Control Q to close it. Control Q to close it. Now window two, and uh, we back to the window user interface. So if we go, for example, uh, to the website to check the uh, the icons. You can also to modify these icons and bring uh, the here the Ubuntu icons, the Kali icons, the Debian icons, and maybe the Windows icon also, and uh, the the Python icons. For example, now I want to go again to Python. Python. Press Enter. Let's see our Python. M equal three. Z S equal. 88 uh, m by by s m by s small letter okay so m uh, divided by s and uh, this is how it works so let's make the mode m mode uh, 88 and sort so, for example, now Python, now I want to switch from Python to Debian. Here I write Debian. And this operating system with programming language all in the same time. It is very, very great. It is a really great things uh, to do. So here I am in Debian, for example, and uh, I want to see my, my server. So OS, for example, then uh, CD Hider. Now I am in uh, hider. Let's see, I have no file, so cd, cd, ls. Okay, so I go to the super user, for example. sudo uh, minus i. Minus, not minus one, minus i. I, uh, my password. Let's update the system. Apt, updating. In German, I think they call update. Uh, they say they call it updating. Within, mm -hmm. and I have nothing. So, up. so let's uh, check the system, and that's uh, a new page. Uh, bash for for uh, for uh, for Git. A new page, uh, and close the page, and you can uh, also. Uh, you can also uh, modify the the shortcut here in this page in this code. You go to the website, the documentation, HTT, the documentation is sitting at uh, AK, A, and control. Let's go to the website, and this is the Git website. Okay, here is the code, multiple. Uh, then uh, you can also the girl. She uh, because uh, so this uh, term uh, terminator is run by a girl. She says that uh, she modified the uh, many many user interface, and you can change the user interface. So guys. Uh, I hope uh, you love uh, this video and uh, I hope it's uh, useful. Uh, keep tuned with me and I will continue to share with you uh, another interesting video. As always, stay safe and Ratu Tubini, Ciao.